So yeah, my plan my plan with this is to Betches. The dog's sleeping over there and barking in her sleep. What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Mr. Top Heavy. And on this episode of Heavy Pours, we are going to be recapping our whiskey wall, seeing who has been the hero so far and who has been the zero. We are now eight bottles down in the whiskey wall series. Let's go over the standing so far. We've got the Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye at number one, the Avalauer Abunda at number two, the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society cutting the cake at number three. Then we have the Red Breast Lestau Sherry Finished Irish Whiskey at number four. The Nika Pure Malt, followed by the Balvenie 14 year old Caribbean Cask Finish. Then the Total Wine Maker's Mark Store Pick. And then last but not least, the Peerless Small Batch. So, so far in the Whiskey Wall, we've had three Scotch, two bourbons, a rye, a Japanese and an Irish. So I'm more of a scotch drinker, so I think overall I do have more scotch. And so then five out of the eight bottles that we've tried so far have been above 50%. So my collection leans more scotch and probably leans higher proof. So uh, that means that it should be fun for me. I don't think that there's any indications yet of trends. I don't think we've tried enough bottles. I think once we get somewhere into 15 to 20 bottles, then I think we can maybe start looking at trends. Six out of the eight bottles we've tried so far are non-age stated. However, one is a straight bourbon whiskey, so we know that that's at least two years. So you can kind of put that where you'd like, but the bottle itself does not have an age. The Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye Limited Edition. And unfortunately, we're gonna have to put an asterisk by that one because I have since killed that. And so if we ever do any blinds down the road, I will not have that to sample. At the bottom we have the Balvany 14 year Caribbean rum cask finished scotch. Uh, that one's not bad. I just, even before this whole thing, have always felt that that's overpriced. So unfortunately, because price plays such a huge part in where it falls, and it's not just flavor, that one's gonna probably stay near the bottom because it's just not worth it. But it does hit on all of the cool points. I mean, it's finished, it's rum, it's aged, it's 14, and Balvany puts out some great juice. So unfortunately that one is towards the bottom, followed by the Total Wine Maker's Mark pick. That one also just unfortunately is overpriced for what it is. And then finally is going to be the Peerless. Now this also needs an asterisk by it because unfortunately I shot that one right after shooting the Barrel Proof Rye. And the flavor from the rye and the complexity and the proof. I wouldn't say destroyed my palate, but it definitely jaded it. I don't think the Peerless really got a fair shot, but that's the way it goes. So I think I'm going to continue doing this. Hopefully I can stay on this sort of path of once a week on Whiskey Wednesdays. Um, if you have any ideas or anything that you'd like me to add, if you don't think I'm covering certain things, get down in the comments and let me know. I do appreciate it. So that's a recap so far of where we're at on the Whiskey Wall. Uh, we'll continue it, and until next time. No matter what you're drinking, make sure it's a heavy pour. <laughs>